And we continue our coverage of tornado recovery in Trotwood. Officials there say they're getting closer to distributing money donated to the Trotwood Disaster Relief Fund. And local leaders say they're about to open applications for grants. It'll be up to $1,000 per household. And 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow has more on the money raised and who's eligible to apply for those grants. Mark and Brooke, the grants are being offered to Trotwood families who plan to stay in the city. Earlier, I spoke with a family who says the money from these grants would definitely help. The day after the unofficial end of summer, the repairs and rebuilding process continue in Trotwood. Neighbors on Olive Tree Drive tell me there's been progress, but it's slow. We are used to um, having, you know, the hanging flower baskets and stuff all around the porch. We couldn't do that this year because it's not stable enough. Joan Diggs and her family are waiting on contractors for multiple repairs. She says they applied for FEMA assistance, but were encouraged to apply for a small business administration loan. They're now planning to apply for a grant that will be offered by the Trotwood Disaster Relief Fund to try to cover other unplanned expenses. We just didn't have a stove. Microwave took up too much power. So we couldn't do that. So we were out of money just going by and food. Former State Representative Jeff Rezebeck, who serves as chairman of the fund, says businesses and individuals have donated tens of thousands of dollars and counting. Big focus of it is having you either come back to Trotwood or stay in Trotwood, and this would help fill that in for us. Rezebeck says Trotwood residents who plan to keep living in the city are eligible to apply for grants as long as they lived in the area affected by the tornado and applied for FEMA assistance. Doesn't matter if you uh, receive those funds or not receive those funds. We just want to make sure you use that um, uh, tool initially. And donations are still being accepted for the Trotwood Disaster Relief Fund. Officials say applications for grants will be available within the next few days. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.